It does. If, if you walk I've never up heard to of my guy. I've never heard I've anyone, never heard talk anyone say anything unless yeah. they have because, one. Because nobody does it. But if you get into a shit fighting match with somebody and you don't know where they're like, you don't want to. You don't want to lose them, like if you you know they're gonna turn around to run. All you have to do is hit your button to, to speak at them or yell at them and something like that. And as they're running away, they'll start their character will start screaming. And as long as you stay within close proximity to it, they'll yell back and forth at each other. Nah, cause uh, you I definitely try that, dude. You push F1 all the time, and I I get scavs to respond. Players won't. No, they will. Trust, trust me, they will, because I've, I've, I've played when they, they implement it. You, you can have a massive fucking screaming match with a group of, like, six guys. Well, if they have, I've never encountered it, so... Yeah, no, no one here's encountered it. Then again, I'm not playing with... A, I'm only playing with these two assholes. Once in a blue moon, Nox. Yeah, because I'm always mashing F1 all the time. Wrong authorization code. Activation code. What? Oh. I had a fucking error where it kept saying I had the wrong version. I had to reinstall. It was fucking annoying. Y'all know about uh, throwing grenades and stuff before you extract, right, too? No. You always want to carry grenades on you, and you always want to throw them at the end of the extraction before you extract, like away from me where it's not going to hurt you or something. Just chuck as, as many grenades as you possibly can uh, out. And, like if you ever find any that like, you like walk around and pick up and stuff like that, just keep them to the end and just chuck them out of your... Uh, just start throwing them. Um, because of... Uh, it gets your strength up and you're actually able to throw grenades and like, move around and jump over things a lot, a lot better. Um, also, if you have, if any of you have the Gamma Case... Okay, okay. Huge lag spikes. Yeah. If any of you have the Gamma Case, you want to, like, stock up on, like, 30 tea bags and just stack them inside of each other and then stack them in your Gamma Case and then go run games and stuff, like, just as a hatchet link and it'll raise your stamina and stuff so you don't have to... Stop and catch your breath every two seconds. Oh, are you just talking about like using the tea bags as like essentially weight weight? Yeah. You, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you get yeah. yourself way you get yourself to the point where you're just overweight and you just stack the tea bags in your back in your gamma case and then you could run around and sprint and stuff and uh, train it that way without risking anything. Um there's a bunch of shit in that game that you can do. <laughs> Yeah, I run around with a hatchet, because I'm too broke to fucking get a weapon. You run around with a hatchet? Yep. Did you start with, like, rocks and stuff? Like, when yeah, you first started all gone. Damn, dude. You know the grok, right? If you take the front side off, or the, the rear side rear off the side. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's pinpoint accurate with the front sight. It's the best pistol in the game. I mean, people will say that the TT is, but the Grok definitely does the job better. A few times I think I've used the, the Grok has the best thing for your buck. Well, the TT doesn't shoot as fast. Yeah, but it don't. It, I mean, it's only got seven shots. You don't. Ideally, you should just hit him in the back of the head with the TT. Because with you get the threaded barrel for five grand, you get the silence for seven grand, you get the gun itself for seven grand, you should spend D &D. twenty two grand for a silence pistol. The only thing that's expensive about it is the ammo, whereas the gun itself for the Grack is a twenty six thousand dollar ruble, you know, you know, pistol. But pistol. All of this is considering the fact you don't miss those seven shots when you get into a closer quarters fight with somebody. With the Grock you got fourteen or whatever how many of the Grock has. So you got twice as many shots, so if you miss your first couple of shots, you could just spam your way to and kill the guy. And it's still it's still a one shot, two shot headshot with the Grok. Is there anything that anything comes up here? No. Comes up here? Uh in this big tent tower. Uh in the room up there, there's gonna be a, a safe key, safe three twenty one. There's a chance it spawns and then there's a grenade case to your left. The fuck? Spawn with an I case and M4 and everything? That's neat. 
that's the New Year's gift. Yeah, I know. I already, I, I didn't know the gift to you a couple of times. I, I've been playing since the, the first day the Alpha came out. So, for this game, like the first day you could possibly play this game, I've been playing on it. Yeah, I haven't. I didn't get a case, so I didn't get shit. Come so on. now I got a hatchet. I don't know where the fuck you guys are. I can't I'm in the shit. building, second floor. <laughs> Let me know if you see a five four five mag. Just AK mag. Yeah, I found an AK in a box. Well, then, yeah, it's special. By God, when you're as poor as we are, you damn are when you find something like that. Motherfucker, all I got is a hatchet. What do you think? You always want to grab pumps. Pumps sell for so much money. Pumps? Yeah, pump, pump shot shotguns. Oh, uh, yeah. If you get them. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You, honestly, I would keep the pump, the pump shotguns over the baby AKs. Place. It's pretty looted. Dragon, where you at? Outside in a bush. Alright, I see you. I'll bet you. Alright, let's head off to the resort. You ready to get a full auto? Uh, I don't have a gun like that yet. Oh, that's right, we all just died. Y'all know about buying the maps, right? Uh, no. Maps. You get to choose your spawn? Yeah. Okay. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah but there's only maps for woods, customs, and factory. I thought I saw a shoreline one. There's, there should be a map for every one of them. Not, nah, definitely not. And they they took the one the ones out then, because there used to be? Yeah, there's no shoreline, There's and there's no, um... Shots left. Right. I don't know how close, and I can't see shit. Do you know about the pistol glitch? Which one? Well, no, everyone keeps talking about it, so I was curious. I mean, I haven't played in the past couple of weeks, so if it's a new one, I don't know about it. If it's one of the old ones, I do. I mean, the, there used to be an old one where you... where you basically spawn in with a pistol, right? And then you could swap your guns back and forth real fast, and your main gun would go into your pistol slot. And so, like, you could carry three guns, basically. I don't know if they came back with that, because... Cause no, like, no, no, the, the one I was reading about has to do with your gamma. With your gamma? Oh, your yeah, gamma yeah. case? Yeah, no, okay, okay. Yeah, there's, there's... So, basically, it's not a glitch. It's just, you have a gun in your gamma case, and then you drag that gun to your hotbar, and so when you die, it automatically goes into your gamma case, so you don't lose it whenever they get the rounds over. So you basically just get, like, a pistol for free and run around with, with no consequences. So long as you don't put it in, like, if you don't fill that slot back up in your gamma case, it'll always stay in your gamma case. You just pull it into your hand whenever you need it. Behind us on the rocks! You down? Yeah. He's got night vision. Who's alive? Me. I got visual. He's running to you. He's running to you. Two of them. Maybe three. Three of them. We'll see. I pull down. Oh wow, dude, them fuckers. I don't know. They had two of them in front of me. I lit them up. And then